Our first question is from Beauty and Gains Coach. What are the pros and cons of circuit training, and when and how should it be incorporated into one's training program? All right, this is a good question. Uh, circuit training uh, is quite popular mainly because uh, of the intensity, the calorie burn. It's short, mm -hmm. so it can be pretty convenient. Here's the deal, though. Um, it has to be done properly. Circuit training with exercises haphazardly put together, especially when they incorporate uh, plyometric stuff into circuit training or just stuff to make you tired. You're essentially just doing high intensity cardio. Um, you know, there's no there's no reason to even do exercises. You might as well do jumping jacks and burpees. You'll get the same result. So if a circuit training program is planned and programmed well, it is a great way to get a workout in a short period of time. It's good for stamina, endurance. And occasionally might even provide a little bit of uh, muscle stimulation. Maybe not if you're advanced, but if you're like beginner or intermediate, you might get some strength gains. Um, the way to program it, I think you should do short cycles of it. I really do. I think, you know, circuit training is done best three weeks and then go back to your standard, you know, weight training. I think either like that or just intermittently thrown in there when you absolutely yeah. need a short workout. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. That the, the, Because of the, the research that came out around HIT, like I want to say, was that 2001, 2002, Sounds right? right? Right around there when it got really popular. Then it turned into this like mainstream thing, like everybody started training this way because of the the research of how many calories and how much fat you can burn and how mm -hmm. it kicks that up for the entire day. Your body burns X amount more calories. And the truth is that it's it's a terrible way to build muscle. It is not the yeah. best way to build muscle. Straight straight strength training is far better than that. Typical standard programming where you phase in and out of like cycles is a much better approach to your 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 weightlifting journey. But the reality is there are times when you only have 20 minutes. And mm -hmm. to me, that's when it makes sense to use a tool like this yeah. is you use it intermittently when you when you only have that. And if you're somebody who's listening and you only always have 20 minutes, then OK, then that makes sense. Right. To train this way. But the rest of the population that has the option of training for 50 minutes or for a, a 20 minute circuit you're far better off training the the 50 minute straight set type of strength training cycle majority of the time and then intermittently either one running it like Sal saying for a two week four week short cycle then you get out of it or just using it when you have to when you can only get 20 minutes in. Yeah, a lot of those uh, studies they they used like a stationary bike and that was like because it was controlled and you know there's less impact and they could really ramp up the intensity. So with hit it's really about ramping up your intensity. Uh, and it is cardiovascular on some level. So, uh, you know, in terms of me personally, I, I prefer to do a hit style workout if I'm going to do cardio uh, so I could throw in a lot of different movements. Uh, if I want to maintain a lot of athleticism and be able to, uh, you know, move through all the different planes, but, you know, maybe add some load. Um, but yeah, it, it's, it's intense. So it needs to be done in short spurts and you need to be able to perform it uh with good form throughout otherwise mm -hmm. you know you're going to start having diminishing returns and especially if you're teaching your body poor technique what a great uh point there um if your form is this that's the biggest problem with circuit training is yeah. form the form goes out the window because it's a it's a fatigue based workout uh, this was one of my biggest gripes with crossfit back in the day is that they turned yeah. everything into a circuit mm -hmm. And when you do that, your technique, inevitably, it's going to go uh, south. It just does. Like anytime you're super fatigued, even if you're doing an exercise you're very, very proficient at, your, your technique goes out the window and then you start to train bad movement patterns in your body. Yeah. Injury rate goes through the roof and you lose the value of the exercise. And then it doesn't become important what exercise you oh, do anymore. And this is my biggest gripe because it's, it's, there's a definitive line between training and competing. And when you blur all that together, you lose both the benefits. So, totally. uh, you know, like just keep that in mind. Like when you're training, you want to be conscious of always trying to perfect form and keep composure. 